Let's look at some stories and in an attempt to tackle the plastic waste menace in the country, Building and Roads Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research has completed a research on using plastics to mold building blocks. Now the Research Institute partnered the Ghana Recycling Initiative to put up wash facilities in some schools using the plastic modified concrete blocks. Here's a report by Ibrahim Abubakar. Effective management of plastic waste has over the years remained a challenge for Ghana. Most plastic waste materials end up in gutters and drainage preventing the free flow of water. Apart from the health risk posed to residents, the situation also contributes to flooding. The Building and Roads Research Institute, BRRI, of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, has come out with a research to help in the fight against plastic waste littering. The plastic is being shredded and mixed with some amount of sand and cement to mold building and pavement blocks. Following this research, Association of Ghana Industries and Ghana Recycling Initiative Private Enterprises collaborated with BRRI to construct a sanitation facility using the plastic modified concrete for Domiabra MAGHS. The project seeks to demonstrate that post-consumer plastics can be incorporated into concrete. Head of Advanced Materials Science Division at CSIR, BRRI, Dr. Ama Togbo, said plastic waste when left on the environment contributes to climate change effects. She said they want to study the pilot project for some time before commercializing it. We are hoping that we'll get other funding from other organizations so that we put at least two elsewhere, one in the coastal area and one in the north. Now, the plastic waste, when it is left in the environment, has other effects. And because the climate change is bringing more rains, the climate change is bringing more sunshine. So with the, if the plastic is left in the environment, what happens is that with more rains, it is, it is washed into our water bodies and marine life is affected. A representative from Gripe, Joyce Ahiadome, said the project is to help educate school children that plastic can be used for other useful things. Plastic, once used um, sustainably, is a resource. If you look at this, more than two tons of plastics have gone into this building. If you look at the pavement blocks, it's from nail plast, it's made out of plastics. So what Gripe is trying to say is that there's a sustainable way of managing our post-consumer waste. If we can use this avenue to educate and create awareness with the children and uh, change the mindset of children, anytime they see such a washroom like this, they are reminded that plastic is not to be to be left on the street is not to be left in the gutter plastic should not find its way in the seas but plastic should find its way into a process by which it can be reused chief executive of agi set Trum said companies using plastic as packaging materials had to come together to bring out the second life of plastic following government's earlier intention to ban the use of plastics in the country we are demonstrating that there's a second life of plastic that we must be aware of it also means that plastic waste is a resource. Being a resource means that you can actually make money out of it. And therefore, we are encouraging people to do the collection of plastics. We are also encouraging enterprises to go into the recycling of plastics. One company cannot do it in the whole country. So even if they are already recyclers, we need to have more in every corner so that every plastic that comes out is collected and is used for other purposes. Ashanti Regional Director of Environmental Protection Agency, Samuel Oting, lauded the research initiative.